our vision is you can have a small, we call it a bioreactor, but it's a fancy name for a pressure cooker, honestly, like your bread maker or something like that, that can maintain temperature and right conditions for your cells and your nutrient solution. And at the end of a couple of weeks, you can grow your own meat for your own family. It's kind of like this miracle cell of sorts that can form everything in your body, but it needs the right trigger to make that happen. So we essentially feed them with a liquid nutrient, a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, fats. It's very similar to what the animal would eat itself, but because the cells don't have a digestive system, you have to give them a very simple ingredient mix. The source of our initial stem cells, we make sure it's from a clean animal. We take shrimps that are not treated with antibiotics, not treated with bleach, don't have heavy metals or mercury poisoning in them. This clean, not just by saying that it's clean, we actually do tests to make sure that it doesn't have any of the residue components. Like I mentioned, meat is grown in this liquid. Right now, that ingredient, I call it soup, you know, nutrient soup, is only made by pharmaceutical companies. But to an extent, we as scientists definitely know what's inside of it. That's how we've brought it down to, you know, from $5,000 for eight siu mice to $5,000 for a kilogram in the last one year. So what we've done essentially is swap out some of the pharmaceutical grade ingredients with plant-based and edible ingredients. Now we have to start working on those and these ingredients are something called growth factors. The cell doesn't have a digestive system. Let's say in the ocean, shrimp eats algae. Can I just make a soup of algae and feed the cells? No, they would die. So you have to break it down to an extent what, as what it would be after the animal would have eaten it, after it digested it, and after it goes into the bloodstream. All of this biology is not well established for seafood especially, and definitely not for shrimp, crab, and lobster. These essentially are produced chemically by the pharmaceutical companies. 